Hey guys, welcome back to Loot Patrol. We're playing some more Firewatch. Are <sighs> is your is your heart ready, Tony? Are you ready for more? No. I was having trouble with the beginning, with the very first episode. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Hey, I see something. We're gonna have to. When you finally move up here, we're going to have to do a lot of camping in the Cascades. Or I like, have never been camping. camping but, just, but just exploring and everything else. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? I mean, God forbid they're colorblind. Yeah. And illiterate. Jeez. What joinks? Where is it? It's not cool. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't Back that them? be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I will tackle the naked man. <laughs> Just so you people know. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> I'm fixing my dick. Just... You really? <laughs> <laughs> Where did I can I come put it? Okay. I just put it down. You're just do not grab their panties. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, good again. Uh, there are uh, panties. Panties. Or what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12. <laughs> There's a. Uh, yes. I think you did straight up steal. There are no, two on the ground. naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do hey, your you job. you fucking kids! I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh, <laughs> boy. Full stereo! I drop Are you gonna drop it in the lake? Cool it with the fireworks. Please, just you, you asshole! <laughs> oh my god! Firework, and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh fuck you, psycho! <laughs> yeah, fuck you! Uh... You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I. I have no uh, idea uh, that that interaction could go that way. That was awesome. Hey, that go okay? I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Who's that? Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. Yep. No problem. Oh. Quack. Oh, is that you? Are you pretending to be a dead? Yes, that was, that was me. Oh, okay. Was it Terraria that we were playing recently where the duck quacked like a man? Yep, yep. There's a chance where if you pass by a duck, it'll make a noise where it just goes quack. Yeah, that shocked the <laughs> fuck out of me. <laughs> you got all creeped out. You thought there was somebody in your room. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's wonderful. Hmm. Ooh, old sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University Ooh. of Eastern Colorado? This. I really don't think there is. Why oh. would somebody make that up? <laughs> right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. All right. Let's see. Ah! Ron, <laughs> got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Papiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but 
I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. Guess you must have got hung up. Dave. Yes, amigos is Spanish and professionales is Italian. <laughs> you reminded me. Did you did you watch Red vs. Blue back in the day? Uh, yeah. I say I watched a bit. You you reminded me of Lopez when you were reading that. <laughs> professionales <laughs> is Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Get the whitest guy Soy possible. Solamente <laughs> habla en español. <laughs> mm. All right. How much? How much of Japanese do you remember? Like, uh, you know? not much. I when you were I in the class, say. could you speak it pretty fluently? No. And my Japanese teacher was a bit of a pushover, so when he got bored, we just kind of watched. Uh, Miyazaki movies, not Miyazaki movies, freaking Ghibli movies. I take it you fell prey to the oh, Forest okay. Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? I yeah, think thanks to nice. last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Okay, so... Speaking of... Yellowstone is... Fire... What, 15 miles oh, away? Your time to your responses. Yeah. Damn you, game! <laughs> uh, no, there was a uh, forest fire up here uh, a couple years back, and I drove through where the forest fire was this last summer. And as devastating as the forest fire was, the like, where it had happened also had one of the most, like, ominous beautiful scenery i'd ever seen it's otherworldly it was so what a, you it, every tree was just silver know. with no leaves on it in every direction like but there were purple flowers at the base of every tree so every w direction you looked for miles like miles were just hills of purple and silver and it like i tried to get a picture of it on my phone but it just did not do it justice it was so unique and pretty I can't wait to take you there. Yeah, man. I've I've driven past some places that like uh, I was going to last time I went to LA. There was a bunch of hills that were just burnt because of all the fires. It's pretty, but it's also I don't know, sad, otherworldly. It's strange. Exactly. Well, and that's kind of where like the ominous beauty yeah, came in because it's like it's beautiful, but you also know like the destruction that had to happen to make it that pretty. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. All right, a lot, a lot of California is so fertile. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. Cool. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I oh my god. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Ah. That, uh, going somewhere. That did not, <laughs> that did not end the way. We're going to keep talking about that one, Delilah. That was her just name. Gonna... Was her name? Yeah, I think it is Delilah. We're just going to leave it off okay. on there. Ooh. I want one A of these. A horn. You could kill someone with that. You get killed by this. You could. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Get Out? Not yet. Spoiler alert. Ah! <laughs> One time, you know my grandpa. You know how like weirdly innocent my grandpa is, and like even though he's a very smart man. He doesn't have the most common sense. But in the cave, 
Well, he, I got a laser pointer, like a red laser pointer one time, and I was, he was looking at it, and he was playing with it, and I was like, don't point that in your eye, it's really bad for you, and he goes, why, and I was like, because it's a laser light, it's not good for you, and so he grabbed it and points it directly into his eye for like 30 seconds, and then he's like, I can still see, <laughs> and I was like, Grandpa, no, <laughs> Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Thank goodness. Hello! I've never been caving either. So many things caving, that I can't wait to do. Caving scares me a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I, 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 yeah, there's just like oh! so many things that could go wrong. <sighs> oh, man. I feel exhausted playing this game, even though I'm not doing anything, I'm just pressing spacebar. You do a good job. They do do a good job. Some games just have that perfect, like, mixture of... There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Nice Henry, guy. There's, there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Oh my what is god. It? Come on. God damn it. People come and go as it's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I do not find that fun. Me neither. That sounds like the At opposite all. of fun. Also, like, it didn't say anything. Were... You just shined a light in my face and left. If I were out in the woods in the middle of the night and just saw someone shine a light at me and then disappear, I'd be fucking terrified. I mean, he was up here. He's gone now. The Shadow Man. Skeleton Man! It could have been Skeleton Man. My goodness. I don't like that. I don't know where he went. I couldn't even say anything. Couldn't be like... Hey, I would have, I, I would have yelled or something, been like, "Hey, what's going on, dude?" What's up, man? If he just like left after I said something, man, I would have been like, "Hmm, not good." <laughs> sure, hope he's sure hope he's human. <laughs> <laughs> the alien sl subplot in the middle of this like sad dementia story. I was thinking like skinwalkers, but aliens work out too. Do you remember our field trip when we were rock climbing? Where we went what? Rock climbing? Rock climbing. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. That was a good field trip. I wish more field trips were like that. That yeah, was ener energizing. It was fun. Had to climb up a big old wall. Queen. That too. I don't remember the Dairy Queen. Ah. That was my guy scared Christ. of this. But I think he scared himself. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> he like Did I spook you? Pick... <laughs> What's great is that he picked up the sign and got spooked when it was two in his face. Um. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I, mean, I pee wherever oh. I want as well. I mean, realistically, if you're out in the woods, you could probably poop wherever you wanted to. Like, no one's really gonna stop you. No. I don't like that that man was just here and then gone. Oh, it's okay, because you're fucking Hulk. Look how you just picked up that cinder block. What's with the music? I don't like that. I don't know. I don't like the big bass. Do 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 do. It's like foreboding. Have to beat a man. Hey. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Ugh. Maybe because you uh broke 
unlock their uh, their boombox. Maybe. Unless it was the creepy guy that was watching you. Maybe the creepy guy was watching the girls <laughs> in the room this time. Oh my god. Okay, I put in a call. <laughs> okay, better. Well, what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Fucking blind code! I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, did but I at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes no, up. No, you did not tell Thanks. you about a weird orgy dream. I need you to feel safe okay. out here. So, I had a dream, and I was in an orgy. But the weird part well, I about sure don't the dream... Now was not that well, I was in an orgy, I, but I that all the women's genitals, like in my dream, had a black sensor bar. Oh, over my them. goodness. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like like all the dudes naked, all the chicks, black sensor bar. Hmm. I see. I don't I, I don't get Wake it. Up. So does anybody see, else dream and half monetize? Hey, wake up. <laughs> anybody? <laughs> I'm awake. If anyone's awake. ever had a What's dream where they had like a our black problem. sensor bar over anything, let me Sorry, know. Sorry, that was a first. That's, that's I've never had the phone line. I used to talk to the service. Which I, I, means no one I talked to about the dream. I tried that's radioing out, happened. and that's not working either. I love that it wasn't like a video. I wasn't watching a movie or anything. It was just like real can women. Can I go fix it? <laughs> black sensor well, bars. You probably can't. Tables. But what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. It was actually also my first okay, orgy dream. I can do that. Where is it? Enough. Remember that cave Thank you hiked you. through yesterday? Oh. Yeah, of I course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like oh, Hank? Wait, our name's Hank. Yeah, I don't like Hank. But Henry. thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. I'm leaving like, the lights on. Simply, you do everything. Yeah, man. Open this door. Fucking light. Dude. Crap, I don't remember what she wants me to do. Uh, go north. Ah. I gotta grab that every time. It's so jarring. Oh yeah, you don't want to be banging your head on shit. Yeah. Up. <laughs> cistern. Is this where water runs down into? The first time that I ever heard of a cistern was when I was playing Amnesia, and I hated it. Oh. I just never heard the word before, and so I was just like. Ooh, cistern, and then I was solving puzzles being killed by uh, awful creatures. Mm. Amnesia was a good game. I'm excited to play the, the new one that just came out. Oh. Jesus. Needs of steel. Yeah. If I jumped like that, my fucking feet would be in so much pain. Maybe he's got really nice boots. Maybe. Is there a way to see your current objective before I horribly steer you in the wrong direction? I don't know. Uh. Let's say no. Okay. Notes from Dave. Whoa. Might be going in the right place. I do love living so close to a mountain range because there is something so cool about like being up above all the forestry and like just. Uh, oh, it's so good! It's so good. It makes me feel so good inside. Spires awe. 
I wonder if there's an evolutionary advantage to, like, being able to experience the emotion of awe when it comes to looking at natural stuff. I, no joke, thought that you were setting up a Obi-Wan Kenobi high ground joke because I thought you were going to say evolutionary advantage to being up high because <laughs> I was talking about being it's up actually high pretty and damn cold out here. Roger and that. So, you fast. went very philosophical with it. Boulder, I right? genuinely thought yeah, we were going they are. Uh, prequel me. What did you get up to down there? <laughs> I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, Must be going the right way. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. That'd be hard to talk no, about. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? Um, All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hmm. I don't really see. If you press M to look at your hey, map, sorry about that. Your anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex. Sorry, I, I don't mean go. to pry. Yeah, I can't. I gotta lower the map to reply. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife. My wife. But you're here. Shit, where the hell am I? Yeah. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Hey, which one's, which one's supposed to be me? I believe you're the flashing one at the top. Okay, and I'm trying to get to communication lines north of the canyon. That doesn't make sense then, because north is where the flashing. So you must be walking towards the flashing thing. So you must be that little red dot that's down there by the two fork lookout or something like that. Oh, okay. I don't know. Just just walk and see which one moves. Got a also, it stinks because I it stinks because I so badly like. I don't want to not be talkative during this playthrough, but I like the story is so important. So I feel like I'm just sitting here like, ooh, don't say a word. Don't don't talk over <laughs> Delilah. <laughs> no, I think you think going fine. Delilah. Uh, hey there, Delilah. Oh, I wonder if you can just follow those communication lines that are above your head. Maybe. What's this say? Oh, Beartooth Point. Where fire look out? Beartooth Point? That sounds dope as fuck. That's the one thing about... Okay. I love the world. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't that need my permission to go to the bathroom, like... but... This big, you know, like, you use abandoned shitters at your own peril. It looks like every I mean, other green rock I'm in the right area. I do believe uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not oh, damaged, you shit. can loop around back home. When you come up, you can see my favorite little vacation spot. Hmm. Fun. Oh, wait, the abandoned place in the middle of the woods? Not abandoned, but you know what I mean solitary. No, well, that place too, but no, there's a, a little town that I like to go to uh, that's on the east side of the mountain range, and it is so peaceful there. It fe it's like the only, one of the only few places in the world where I've ever had that feeling that's like, I'm not supposed to leave here. I'm supposed to be here. And it just has like this, like, you forget that the rest of the world exists when you're there. I love it. It'll be a good time. Yeah, that sounds great. I think it'll be a good, good time. I don't like that the only rustling that's going on is like in my right ear, because then it has me looking to the right to see if something's there and there's nothing there. 
Yeah, yeah, beer cans, whatever. Oh, great. Long drop down. Apparently not for me. Back up that way. My iron knees. Iron knee. Oh, iron knee. <laughs> Man. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. <laughs> Can I not? You so sh hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer the, cans the out here. The same the beer those girls were drinking. They also left hell. us a, a message. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? Kill them. I want you to go find them. And then what? Their I, asses. I haven't thought that far ahead. No, kick their That's asses. That's not true. Everything threatening your life at this point. Te 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 mm. Yeah, teach them a lesson. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost oh, costume, yeah. but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Hmm. Maybe you can just follow the beer cans that they keep apparently leaving area. These two teenage girls drink a lot of canned beer. Like, I'm not trying to say that canned beer is just a dude thing. I'm just saying that I, I don't know a lot of, like, young girls who are big canned beer fans. If you are out there, though, and you're a big, like, Bud Light fan, let me know. That's an odd thing to me. That's an odd thing to me. Oh, um... Maybe it's just what they could get. Oh, yeah, true. I guess if you're a teenager, then, yeah. That I jog, just, like, throwing my wrists forward. <laughs> <laughs> like a silverback gorilla running through the woods. Uh, 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 teenagers. <laughs> Delilah Fountains. Oh. Well. Jonesy Lake. Yeah, somewhere that way. Backpack. Say backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. There you go. You smack. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Ow. <laughs> Gosh. Well, well I am flush with camera. ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Thanks, Brian. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad on three hours ago. No. Oh. Oh. Great kid. Oh. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. 
What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Oh, nice anyway, so charm. it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. I might get bored. <laughs> well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? You know what I do think would be a really fun um, vacation trip? Would be getting, like, a bunch of disposable cameras for everyone, and then everyone leave their cell phones at home, and then just everyone takes a bunch of pictures, and at the end, everyone goes and gets them developed, and, like, you see what pictures you had, just like the good old... The good hmm. old days. Good old days. Before internet. Before Let's Plays. <laughs> Eh. I'll take this down. You throw a raptor talon? Something like that. A rock. Hmm, yes, Rocky. There you go. Bash the girl's heads in. Alright, we're going with our rock, you guys. Hey, you know what else you should do with that rock? Hmm. You should tell a rock to say goodbye to everyone, because we'll see them next episode. Oh. Well, we'll see you next episode. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll see you next episode of the patrol. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Guacamole. <laughs> Guacamole.